Paladin is being tanky. Okay. Aye. <laughs> Aye. Escalation die heads up to two. The eyes turns, and uh, they will all continue to focus uh, squarely on Mr. Tankman. Yeah, with yeah. His, his tanky powers and his tankery. <laughs> that is a natural one, which will yep. completely miss you. Does not even get remotely his uh, shadows around your throat. That one does. That is a yep. not a natural 16 or higher. 20 points of psychic damage. And that one will miss. Alright, your turn. <sighs> As the three eyes uh, working in tandem, a a web of shadows forming themselves around the dwarf paladin, but uh, his vigor and his reserve to stand strong. Yeah, so yeah, he, yeah, he's kind of infused with the, his inner rage at the moment. <laughs> yes. That was my sister! Yeah, he's, he's ready to kill every last single one of these motherfuckers upstairs also. Dwo Hero Mariska, you're up. Oh, I'm... That's fine. Move action takes you to there. Yeah, I mean, you're blocking the doorway again. I'm just saying. He can well, I can try. Uh, you can you can squeeze in there. Yeah, he can do it just fine. That's what you say. Target. One enemy, then let's try the new spell. Okay. She's not really yeah. that much better than the old one, but crescendo is a hit that will uh, hit the eye of the black fang. Eighteen thunder damage. You'll take the 18 points of thunder damage. Didn't have enough lightning already. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the tiger puff free. So I'm like yes, over here. You sure do. No, that, that covers the whole blocking the door thing I, about this, I said before. Uh, anything else with your turn? Uh, no. Okay. The teeth are all dead. Leon. Except for all Okay. Right Move <laughs> action. I come through the door and engage. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and use my Queen Shadow actually on the Claw of the Black Fang. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to be spell fisting this, so it's also going to make another attack roll then on the eyes as well. Spell fisting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> <laughs> I have look. It's a thing. Let me, uh, take a look once per battle. So this is against the this is against the archers first. Okay, that does manage to hit them. Yes. It's a pretty good spell. That will, uh... You can go ahead and describe how that kills those two. Who oh, no, feasting would be so powerful. <laughs> that, that, that's finish, that's finish the full attack and do it with the other guys as well. On the uh, eyes. That will hit them. Jeez. Uh, so much damage. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's, what, it's my level 5 daily. <laughs> yes, and he gets to use it at that will until the end of the battle. That'll kill this guy. And uh, yep. in the arcing sort of electricity, nearly killed this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Leon also said he rolled on the actual even on one of those. Teleport down there. Okay. As basically, as Leon comes out, and you activate this blade, his multitude images no one could find this corridor. Kind of just he's almost flashing up everywhere around, the blade striking from all directions, almost just fragmenting of the light. Just slice, slice is coming from all directions, and well, attacking in a frenzy almost at everything he sees, except Grak. And oh, do here, my <laughs> Okay. Uh, that is certainly an event that transpires at the end of your turn. Yep. No, not that. Hold on. I'm trying to manage other things. No. Yeah, when I, so yeah, when I saw this, when I found this daily, I was like, I'm so taking it. Okay, Aurelia, it is your turn. Uh, Aurelia's going to. Poke her head out here. Mm -hmm. You dead. Whoop. <laughs> and then <laughs> put yourself in the corner. No one puts Aurelia in the corner. Except herself. That's right. Then and even let, that. let's let's use an, another fighting style of the three just for irony here. The Red Fury. That is certainly a hit. That will kill. Him. You go to dead now. Go directly to dead. You know, it would actually be easier if I uh, figured this in some other fashion. No, that's fine. And uh, the other, the final eye, because there were five eyes, is uh, severely wounded, nearly dead. Uh, Alright. That'll be my turn. Okay. The claws assess the situation. 
These two will attempt to shoot at Leon, and uh, they do not provoke, as uh, they are targeting you specifically. Yes. That is a miss, and that is most assuredly a hit. That is uh, 24 points of cold damage, and Leon is vulnerable. Save ends. As uh, just Leon inserting his face point blank earns him a cold enchanted arrow uh, on his shoulder. It, st it stops him to keep shooting, Garak, at least. Yep. This, uh, Although I do have a lot of health now. <laughs> this, this claw is, like, assessing the situation. you are gonna go ahead and take a move action to back up here. Uh, That's still just good enough for her to shoot at Garak. Alright. 24 uh, points of cold damage. And the dwarf paladin becomes vulnerable. Save ends. But, you know, it's not so bad if he manages to succeed his save. What's nope. be coming up? Now. Right. Make a save. Yep. You succeed. Nice. No vulnerable for me. <laughs> uh, I guess he will just hit the eye of the Black Fang that's right in front of me. Alright. Uh. That is a miss. Mm. However, your miss attack is enough to... Uh, it, he is so severely wounded uh, that it is enough to finish the job. And he falls right. over dead, nevertheless. Uh, it's... Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's ha It should be damage equal to your level, though, right? And not half damage, because you're not using Smite Evil? I am using Smite Evil. You didn't no, say no, that no, you were uh, using no, Smite I'm Evil. No, I'm using Hammer of Faith, which... Uh, here you go. Right, right, I forgot. Yeah, my apologies. Yeah, that finishes him off. That's your standard. Uh, yeah. Um... Move down there. Yeah. Move at or move action put you here. One of the two. Go between them or something, you know. <laughs> sure, if you'd like. <laughs> they, then they can't avoid the attack of opportunity. They sure can't. Escalation die goes to three. The eyes are all dead. Do I hear them? <laughs> all great sword. Are you changing the one away? <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Leon. Well, I mean, it's worked so far. I will try and use um, Queen Shadow on them. Okay, I mean, it is your daily. Mm -hmm. Might as well get to make... No one again. Nope. Anything else is your turn? Two nat 1s and a nat 20. That's pretty... You, you guys, I'm glad you guys got the horrible rolls out of the way before combat started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I'm not... I'm, the, the one making it more annoying, of course, this is my daily ability. I want to use it well. I mean, you right. get a good value out of it. It basically covers you for a whole battle. So, <coughs> Yes, it's basically an upgrade on my normal attack for an entire battle. Yeah. Uh, right. Other than that... Anything else uh, the, I don't think it's worth healing yet. Make a save against Vulnerable? Uh -huh. I'll make a save against Vulnerable, I guess. Alright. Thy nope. turn is over. No. Aurelia, you're back to the top of the forums. Alright. <laughs> Goodbye, AC. You, you want to come over here? Uh, <laughs> to force them to. It would definitely what be a, a double move, but uh, yeah. she would yeah, have to take an attack of opportunity if she was going to actually use her bow, no matter what. Well, leave. Yeah, so uh, right. I'll take my extra move action per bow then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two moves here, and then her, her eyes wide and go, "Oh fuck, Aurelia." <laughs> and it's time for, I think it's time for the burning shadow. More of the free forms here. You should have used it on the motherfuckers who attack with shadows. That is a miss against her. Oh. Well, that will be that then. Five points of damage. Alright. The claws go. Uh... <laughs> You're staying right. Yeah. Um... Pick it up. Well, this whole kiting strategy worked out until it stopped working out. <coughs> well, they signed up for this. They know what they came in here for. <laughs> uh, Garak will get a free attack against uh, both of these creatures, because uh, they will both <laughs> attempt to shoot Leon. Sweet. Uh, let's let's, let's see how much they regret that choice. That is a miss. That is also a miss. Still that better than my hits. So, <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and divide uh, damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Well, uh, that is enough to... Like, you catch, like, this one in the back swings. <laughs> and she's, uh... She's nearly dead. But she does manage to get her shot off on Leon, which is a mess. And then, uh... This claw looks between the two. Hisses at Aurelia. And uh, Dwo here will be able to take a basic melee attack. Sure. Something I know Dwo here is great at. I don't, I don't get to make them often, so uh, let's see here. I have a relation to that. Just Worked against the you my so that point. is a miss. She will oh. take the half damage. It would definitely fun when Fargus get the <coughs> deep, like 40 damage or something. That's going to put both of these into the staggered range. And uh, she will make her bow attack against Aurelia, which will definitely hit, and that is a natural 16. Okay, but that is also a ranged attack. It is certainly targeting. a ranged attack, yes. Meaning that Aurelia is going to try slapping the arrow out of the way, turning it into a grazing hit, hopefully. Which means I will roll a save. That is a failure. I'll take full damage because I don't All right, see the take, point take, of spinning the point. Take your 12 damage. All right. And she will stay there. Do Rock. so badly. And vulnerable, you said? Yes, vulnerable. Okay. Yep. Smash, smash, smash. Okay. So, uh, you get to describe how you've managed to kill <laughs> both her and her, thus ending the mook, the mob, and the combat. Go for with it. A, with a miss, or did it hit? You hit, yeah, and right. they're both dead. Hmm, hmm, well, how the fuck do I hit the other one? <laughs> yeah, this is the boomerang uh, axe, bro. <laughs> Either well, that, or you hit, hit her so hard that you break through the fucking wall. <laughs> I think it would have to be the pew through the wall. Yeah, sure, I hit her so goddamn hard she flies through the wall and into her friend over there. Barely just sailing oh. over to all here instead, <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, that will end combat, but I'll ask you not to move your tokens just yet, if only because we have, uh, had quite a lengthy session and, uh, you're not yeah. just going to be able to leave here so easily. Uh, you might want to so. pick up, uh, next session with you guys right here in the middle of all this shit. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. I think that's... I go ahead and, uh, you know, you can go ahead and spend your recoveries to uh, heal up nope. if you so nope. desire. Yeah, I do need that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's... I'm impressed by the new uh, attack, Dark. Uh, you should it, get some it, more of those. It, it, it's a... It is the... It's my... Um, because basically what I did when I picked powers was the first one I picked was upgrading my main attack chaos bolt, my outwill. But after I looked through, it's like, I don't like any of these data. Oh. Oh. Yes, however, that, was, that one is not oh, yeah, a recharge one. Yeah, you can't more than one. one. Yeah, yeah. That, that one's not a recharge one, and he doesn't get Oh, constantly forget back. that's only me. <laughs> yes, you're the only one who gets to pick multiple copies. Like, you should have two of the Wait. Hmm. I mean, no. if, I, if I could pick many of them, the problem would be, eventually, I would just have all my spell slots be that. Yeah, for, ev for every battle, in every day, you could just... And that's when they send the... Uh, the resistant, the psychic damage people. Out there. <laughs> I wouldn't like people who are resistant to lightning right now, but I have, now I have one psychic attack, so I can't, I can't empower it. But yeah, uh, the other thing, the other thing I noticed about it was because um, I remember you commenting, Grimith, about um, we have a lack, we had a lack of mental defense targeting things. You sure? Yeah, I did this one. Yeah, we did. It targeted mental defense because you know. The uh, like, on, the only one that had it existed in the party was Ruination, and Fargus is a bit uh, rip now. Yeah, and it wasn't that powerful of a spell either. Right. It did so target make, everyone, but yeah. So I make uh, up with my name. I uh, I kick this shit off, uh, or I didn't do it last week because of how long the session went and how tired <coughs> people became. But I am definitely going through these uh, this week. So, uh, what has been your favorite part of the past five sessions thus far, Manakai? Uh, well, um, might be a bit contested, but I really like the whole red cat thing situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that was nice. Got some talking done and, and it felt kind of scary to see them to, to meet one as I turned the corner and that whole, uh, the other guys don't know. It's kind of me standing here looking at the Tyrannosaurus while they're like arguing about which side the map we're on. I was sort of pulling on their shirt slightly, trying not to alert the enemy. Yeah. I know. I, I really enjoy <laughs> the fact that this uh, that B91 version of Map Tool allows me to have all of the vision blocking layer stuff without resulting in a bunch of glitches and bugs. Uh, uh -huh. Make great effect out of that. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Sheep, your uh, favorite part of the past uh, five sessions. Most favorite. 
that effectively covers Def's hand to now. It's Def's hand to now. I mean, I, I can't really choose the same thing I said last time, which was essentially our, our send-off for Fargus, which was pretty good. Um, good. Other than that... I'm sure there is a moment, but I don't remember it at the moment. Okay, so it wasn't iconic moment? enough. I mean, yeah, this like this end of this session, I I enjoyed it a little because it finally feels like we're making progress, and it's great. But mm. from the from the past sessions, I'm sure there were moments, but I can't pinpoint anything. I know that I didn't quite enjoy the whole Domino Red Cap thing as look, much as Manica. God damn it! That's the next question. You fucking saved that shit. I didn't ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's. You know, I I would pick this moment. Okay, this moment. Uh, Gogur, your favorite moment of uh, the past five sessions to now. Mm. I did like that we find, found uh, Garok's sister, but I also did like the speech that uh, Lord Raptors gave us. Uh, last session, or, yeah. Last, last session, session, I think. Yeah. Why did, you, what, what, why did you like that? I don't really know, I just really liked it for some reason. Okay. I... Um, I liked watching the web webcam of you doing it because uh, it provided a, provided a lot of emotions and I, I it captured my, yeah. <laughs> okay, it captured you. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dark, your favorite moment of the past uh, five sessions. I am slightly conflicted on this. Um, I so there's, there's a few moments that stand out to me that I've really enjoyed. Um, a little mild one this session, which might just which is just a, a little amusing pleasure, uh, was that just the the fact that Manokai and both of his message spells rolled a one, which I found very very amusing for myself. There were but, numerous asshole. failures on skill checks <laughs> across the board. My like, the seed, have never done well. The, the seeding <laughs> for all of your computers was just terrible for rolls. <laughs> it, it, you know, I haven't been here for all the sessions, um, but you know, uh, conversely to I think what I think Sheep's going to bring up, actually, I love the red caps, like Manokai did. Because you weren't uh, there. I haven't. I haven't. I mean, I enjoyed. We still got a combat with the red caps. So I enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Uh, but the other thing is, uh, the other thing that really stands out to me, which makes me partially convicted, was uh, the, the start of this session, or like pre-session, I suppose. Uh, the the messenger from the messenger from the viscount was just something that it made me it made me have to consider Leon's character a little bit there for a second. Yeah, which you were already yeah. doing anyway from his near death experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I, because you were the one who triggered the most icon relationship dice rolls, uh, I did want to put your character development in focus. Uh, of course, your connectivity issues were such that I did curb uh, what I was going to end up featuring, but I still wanted to do something with Leon. Yeah. I had some periods where, you know, I was fine for hours, and then some periods where I was going every five minutes, so it's like, mm. Yes. Okay. Um, all right, then. Uh, least favorite part of these past five sessions, and we'll start with you, Dark. Uh, my least favorite moment, I think, is just how indecisive the party has been at times. Like, when we've gone back and forth and we seem to make no no progress between each other, just because I feel like that we're not getting we're not getting anything done, and like, there's a lot there's a lot I want to do, but we can't agree on what we should do. Okay. Uh, Gogur, least favorite part of the past several sessions. Is it a to die? Asthma man? You're, you're, you're muted or oh, you're hello. not there? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I did have one um, before, but now I've forgotten it. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a good what? sign. Uh, uh, let's see. Was it, was it losing target? I mean, that was... Didn't I say that last time? Might have done, but... Nah, I don't know. I can't really think of... A specific one now. I did have one before, as I said. But uh, all right, well, I'll be I I'll be here all night. If, yep. uh, if <laughs> all right, Chief. Least I, favorite I, moment. I don't think I need to repeat myself. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would add nothing to the discussion. Well, well, no, no, it certainly could. You've we've had a week to consider everything that's happened last session. So, uh, you know, just like your thoughts now that you're a week separate from. Uh, the red cap hell that you were in. 
I mean, my my thoughts aren't very different because okay, that's fine. Yeah, they they really aren't. So right. yeah, got it. Uh, Manic Eye, least favorite moment. Well, uh, I think I might be be aping dark here a little bit actually, but but the, but just just the fact that we've had a lot of discussions where sometimes it feels like I have like we're getting nowhere unless I make a decision uh, that then that then sort of gets accepted because no one else has any other idea. So it's a feeling that from these past several sessions of perhaps longer than you feel like you're the decision maker who interacts with people. Yeah. I, I'm usually one talking to people and, and telling people what to do and, and such. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's just been a general thing. Is there anything I can do to make your playing experience more comfortable on my end? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it would seem a little artificial, but for me, it's fine if you bring the other characters into the spot in a conversation, uh, because sometimes it ends up with just the two of us talking. Uh, and I mean, it's supposed to, you know, everyone's. I, I, to I have used Jeff Speaker or like guardsmen who might have been nearby when you guys are conversing as outlets for that. Yeah. Okay. It, it, I I have definitely. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Is, is anyone yet sorry. not yet had that turn? No, no, go for it. Because I, I've definitely felt the same as as Manikai is feeling that it it's basically just you know one of us deciding in this case Manikai, but I have felt that way since Forkhaven essentially, <laughs> and I've I've tried to kind of explain why I'm having so much trouble trying to contribute to like decisions and stuff. And um, I'm not sure if there's too much point in repeating the points I've been trying to make in the past. It's essentially that we are always faced with a collection of choices that all seem very bad if they fail. And to me, at least, I know it's objectively probably completely wrong, but to me, it feels like most things we try fail spectacularly. I, I'm not sure why I feel that way. I have noticed that some of the successes that I have recognized as successes haven't even actually come from us. There is uh, the in Dragon Hall when we found Calarel, that was essentially just suddenly Tempest knew everything we needed to know. And then we had the thing with, with our no, where we use charm person. That's not an idea that came from us. That is an idea that came from, from you, Grimoth, essentially. Not Tempest. Don't, it, you it felt... don't, don't you dare insult what Griffin God has done. <sighs> yeah, okay, okay. I can only speak from my perspective here. I don't know what went on in the in the background, essentially. But the session essentially started with you as the DM, yes, playing Griff's character, and I can't really know what he did or how he did it, but suddenly Tempest knew a guy who knew a guy who knew exactly what we needed to know. That's because Griff, during the times when he's actually available, is trying to utilize Tempest to the best of his ability, not just to milk icon relationship dice, because those are springing boards, but also to, like, to like as he would have done with Dirtle Hull and Forge and role-played out like gathering information and conversing with people and trying to learn more about the campaign world. And we handled that, and he did, remarkably well. Like, that sort of, like, devotion to trying to do more stuff like that, like, in an attempt to learn more, I give him more for that. He hasn't been able to participate that much, so there's been plenty of times or opportunities that his character could have pursued soon have gone off at the deep end, but Griff has certainly, when he's been available, has really tried to pour things okay, into yeah. this. Then that particular point is, is definitely completely moot, as it's just, you know, me misinterpreting something. I know I definitely have problems contributing, also due to the fact that I, I still don't really find many opportunities. Uh, no, opportunities is not the right word, because I know there's plenty of opportunities. I don't find the right mindset, I guess, to employ the re relationship that I am getting. Which might be part of, uh, which might be partly caused by the fact that I have somewhat awkward relationships 
What Which, I, would, uh, I would tell you to do then, you you appear to be so zeroed in on these icon relationship dice. I, I know, I, I, I know. I would, I would sweep them away like, how did Kyron do things? Like, what did he do and learn? He went and did stuff like between sessions and numerous time lapses. Like, you had organization and planning and stuff that you did with Manakai towards the end. But you didn't have icon relationships. You just did stuff. Yeah, I, none of what I'm saying is is a is meant to be as the uh, as anyone doing anything wrong. I'm I'm simply trying to kind of say how I see things, which is sure player perception, like what you perceive. Yes, most matters. definitely. Um, and it is my primary goal to make sure that everyone around here has fun, which is why, like. I, I've just been so flummoxed and, like, baffled over these sessions. Like, how do I improve Sheep's playing experience? <laughs> I I have asked myself the same question so many times, and I just don't get why I'm having so many problems. It's... I right, don't know. All right, other players, like, I, uh, I don't know... I don't know the answer. I don't have an idea. I've... I'm what does Sheep point. want? Is that what you're asking? I, I guess that would be <laughs> it. Like, how do I make it so that Sheep... Like, he talks about, like, enjoying the frustration and stuff, but we end up with these moments, like, querying periods where he's just, like, he feels powerless or, like, indecisive because he looks at the choices and he's like, I don't know which choice to pick! Like, I don't know how to, like, work with the things I have and I don't know what to do. I think it's mostly a problem I have to fix myself because it's it's very much a personal problem. I don't think you are doing anything wrong. I'm enjoying things. The only kind of critique maybe that I would have is what I've mentioned in the past that our overall goal of essentially saving the world seems very much in contrast to the somewhat mundane challenges we face a lot um, oh, um, I would then pose to you uh, say we're the wicked um, when you began in the like the first book your goal was to topple the nation basically and destroy a religion right yeah and you began to by doing that in very tangible small hand goals but, but the right? the main difference uh from that comparison is that in way of the wicked we had no that, that's not a thing you, because you think kind like of guidance to do. you were told what to do in smaller steps that that the idea in a way we we definitely had immediate smaller goals that we essentially God given, which yeah, we like, don't have here because we have way more freedom. Find Auxilia, for example. Yeah. Find defeat Auxilia. Um, I I think, uh, at least from from the whole Farkhaven idea and such, is is that that, that you desire more story resolution, um, more of a time to enjoy victory before a new challenge is, is put up. Yeah. Uh, in a sense, I suppose, yes. Maybe, maybe not so much victory and then celebration and months of of vacation, but rather just the feeling of definitive progress. This gets back to my counterpoint, where I feel as if your characters have made notable progress that has firmly impacted the world of Dragon Empire for the better. Like, you have made, your character's actions have made great changes and shaped this construct that only exists in our minds. I don't think that you guys have failed. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we've failed either. It, it is very much well, my own perception, which I can't explain, really, but I, I, I just figured that... It you're expecting more progress. Be. We can we can uh, see the progress we make in the opposition that our enemies put against us, right? Like yes, yes. They are only willing to waste this much stuff on us because we matter. And like even if we don't realize exactly what we've done, we've done something that really, really, really annoys them. And as long as we keep doing that sort of thing, I mean, that, you know, that's good. Um, let's see here. Do you have an example from another campaign where you might have like a decisive victory? You could say that this is decisive progress. I mean, take Way of the Wicked, Way of the Wicked for example. Book one, we captured Valentine. Mm -hmm. That was a decisive point where things changed, where new possibilities opened, where a task was complete. I would argue yeah. the same thing here would be for Exilia when we find her. Yes, if I we find her, would hope so. 
Yeah, and I feel this session we have made a huge step in that direction. Oh yeah. I think you have to. And and we basically did that by saying, you know, uh, well maybe <laughs> things go bad, but screw it. Yeah. Well, who cares? And that worked because we. Yeah. It is. It is very should, likely have, that. We, it is very likely that part of my <laughs> part of my problems are coming from the fact that we are probably considering things too much and trying to find the best possible solution in a we're, sea of solutions that are suboptimal. But yeah, we were playing nice in a way. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like we wouldn't want to go on their turf because they would call the police and then then we would be put off for trespassing. Yeah. Um. And I, I guess, I guess. Yeah, a, a, way, a, way, a way to look at it then is to say, well, Drohirim would enter battle in the sewers with ghouls and redcaps. If he failed there, he would die. But apparently that matters less than the potential of being put in prison for trespassing. 